If you have 8 GB of the RAM installed on your PC and you wanna get 240 plus FPS in Fortnite on your PC or laptop, so guys, through in this video, I'm gonna show you the best optimization and overclocking settings you can use on your PC in order to get the best performance out of your PC. So guys, before starting this video, please let me know your PC specs in the comment down below and I will help you to getting more performance out of your PC. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to optimize our visual memory, therefore we can use our hard drive space as our memory on our PC. So for that, you need to go for your Windows Start icon, right click here and open up system settings. Once you go to this window, you need to go for advanced system settings. Once you go to the system property pop up, now go for performance settings and open up the advanced tab on your PC. Now you need to go for virtual memory and click on this change button and here you will find out this virtual memory pop up window. Now in the very first step, you need to uncheck this box that is automatically manage paging file size for all drives. So once you have unchecked this box, now here you will find your C drive, D drive and E drive. So guys, select out here your Windows drive that is C drive for me. Now you need to go for this custom size, select out here this option and now you need to put here these values according to your RAM size. So for that, first of all, you need to open up the calculator on your Windows. Here you will find out this pop up. Now you need to type here the size of your RAM. So for example, you have 8 GB of the RAM. So you need to type 8, then multiply with the 1024 for converting your 8 GB RAM in MBs. Now hit equal and here you will find that this number that is the size of your RAM in MB. Now you need to again multiply this number with 1.5 and hit equal and you will go to the same exact value that you need to put inside this initial size in MBs. Now next you need to go for this maximum size and again clean this stuff. Now again type here 8, multiply with 1024 and hit equal. Once you go to this value, now again multiply this number with 2 and hit equal and you will find out the double size of your RAM in MP. So guys simply put here these values. Now after that now close out of this calculator and now click on the set button and apply the settings on your PC. Now hit equal, hit apply, click OK. Again, click OK and close out of this window. So once you have applied the virtual memory settings on your PC, you need to download these softwares on your PC. Link will be down in the description. Simply open up my website, go for the search bar and paste here the title of my YouTube video and press enter and you will find out the same exact article for downloading these tools on your PC. Or you can simply find out that post on the top of my website and from there you can download these tools on your PC. So after downloading, simply install this tool on your PC and here you will find out this exe file. So right click here, run this as administrator and here you will find out this current interface of the MZ RAM booster. So now here you will find the total size of your RAM, used RAM, free memory and then here you will find out your virtual memory information. So guys, you need to go for this optimize button, click on the optimize and this will free up your RAM if that is used in your background. Now go for Smart Optimize, click on this button and this will start optimizing your RAM. Now we have 12 or 13 GB of the RAM available in our PC. So guys, once you're done, I need to go for the next option. That is this option tab itself. And here you will find out this recommended settings option. You need to click here and this will automatically apply the best settings according to the size of your RAM. Now hit equal and here you can check out here the settings. This will automatically run the software in your background and optimize your RAM after every two hours. Now you need to go for the next step that is the tweaks tab. Again, click on this option that is the disable 8.3 file name creation, disable executive paging, check mark onto the auto end task and use the same numbers on your PC. After that, again click on the supply button and hit equal. Now for the CPU optimization, you also got here the tab for CPU control. Now set it onto the foreground and background applications will have the same priority. So guys, go for it. Click onto the apply changes and apply the settings on your PC. You must restart your computer for changing to take effect. So click on this OK button and guys, that's it. Now you simply click on this send to the system tray and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC. Now you need to simply one time restore your PC there for all the things to take effect. After that launch your Fortnite and enjoy the best performance out of it. I hope so you love it. Please let me know your input about this video in the comment section and see you again in the next video.